Hello everyone, my name is Trinity Aeronaut and today I would like to show you a couple of items from the Sense event, some, some more uh, home and gardens. But before I do that, I would like to tell you what I am wearing, which is also from the Sense event. The dress I'm wearing right now and the shoes and the earrings are from two separate uh, ex exclusives uh, at the Sense event by Wild, Wild Designs. The first one is the dress. This dress is the Margarita dress, and uh, it's adorable. It comes with a HUD. It is several different textures, and I really love it. Uh, the second um, item I'm taking out of uh, for this um, video is uh, from her Pamela dress. And that is the heels, the platform heels, and the um, earrings that I'm wearing, which are just absolutely adorable. I will go ahead. I'm going to stop the video while, so I can bring you in up close. Okay, here are the platform shoes. They are adorable. They have this kind of a sparkle to them or kind of a snakeskin look to them. And they, these also come with a HUD in several different colors. Here are the earrings uh, that come with this uh, second outfit, Pamela uh, dress, and it come. These come in silver and gold. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, I would like to show you the uh, first of all the house. This is from Painted Pixels. It's called Neptune. It also comes with HUDs. You can change interior walls, exterior walls, uh, the trim on not only on the outside, but the trim on the inside. I kind of played around a little bit with it till I got something that I liked uh, to show you. So, but, but just be aware that it also comes with a HUD. Uh, you can see it's a pretty simple house, but it's very striking. Um, it's got one main room and it's got this cute little patio off off the edge here. I'm not exactly sure uh, whether that's a sunroom or a patio or um, and I'm not sure we'll have to go on the inside and we'll have to look and see if there's any kind of screening or anything in it. As you can see from here it's a one room. It's a rather large one room area. Um, which uh, I, I think you can, I don't know, if you want, you could possibly add little, little, I don't know, kind of things to vary the size of the room, uh, vary, you know, you could, you could also just keep it as one large uh, studio kind of area. You could have a bed in here, you could have a, a kitchen area in here somewhere over in here, I guess maybe on this side. You could separate the room with uh, room dividers, or you could uh, have simply a, a, a kitchen area that's an open kitchen, and separate that with the um, with the, the shelving and such. Uh, but um, it's a nice bit. It's a nice build. It's roomy. It's got high ceilings, which are very nice. And it looks to me like, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not, it has skylights. So, very nice, very nice, very, very awesome. And it, it doesn't need a riz box because it's all one, um, one object. It is, let's see, it's 56 um, land impact. Uh, and it's got, oh, I love this, it's got collision doors. You don't even have to click on them. So out here is the outside area. It looks like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's either unfinished or it's finished. And it's kind of a, kind of a gazebo look, I guess. Uh, again, this is something that you could, if you wanted to, uh, uh I know that, um, Reed Parkin makes some uh, beautiful uh, plantings. You could put something like that up here. And yep, and if you look, you can even see that it's a physical, there's a physical 
Uh, this is a physical um, uh, part of the build, and you can see that you can walk right through those those um, pillars or those those uh, vertical pieces of wood, and you can wander in and out via via the uh, walls. So awesome. So this is, uh, and, and I mean, even look at this, look at the trim on this. This is gorgeous. And uh, I've, I've gone ahead and changed the inside of the walls here to make it a nice blue, but it's several lovely different colors. You can, uh, let's go ahead and I'll put up the uh, HUD. Okay, here we go. So, as you can see, windows, outside walls, trim inside walls molding the window trim uh, you can you've got two versions for the windows you've got open closed the ones I showed you was open um, let's go ahead and do the inside walls uh, you've got two choices pastel colors and dark color okay I had to stop the video so that I could uh, change my uh, wind light back to Nan skin and skin and prim uh, so I could get some of these colors on these walls to uh, change. It looks to me like there is a basic gray color on these walls. And if you try using some of these pastels, uh, it, it looks to me like uh, you're going to just simply be slightly changing the color of the gray as opposed to actually... Um, creating uh, a different color altogether. So let's see what we got here. So um, we got stone. So that just makes it a little bit darker. The inside walls. You've got pastel colors. Um, faded again. That seems like uh, just um, makes the wall a little darker. Um, you've got C. Wonder if I. Try white here. Now, yeah, see, it just makes the gray a little bit lighter. So it looks to me like um, there's not a lot of difference. Um, some of them, like the blue, are obvious. Um, I think the pink, pink looked like it made some change just really did alter the gray, give it a slightly pink look to it. Um, let's try the purple. I would think that one would be. Nope. No, no, it just looks a little, little bit more of a purple gray. The molding. Let's try that. Okay. Let's try for the pink. Well, maybe. It makes a little bit of a change here. Yellow. Let's try that. Again, a little bit. A little bit. Very subtle. It's very subtle. Let's try the dark colors. Let's try banana. There you go. That, see, that, that looks... That's, I think, the way you're going to have to go if you really want to see a difference. Red. That looks very different. Let's try the molding. Let's try banana. Yeah, that's really much more noticeable on these walls. Let's try black. Look at the difference there. Very, very nice. So, it's just a matter of uh, playing around with that HUD until you get something you like. The next thing I would like to show you here, over here, is this really lovely, very festive 
Halloween um, set from Cozy Corner. And it's interesting that the, the wall seems to make a perfect red backdrop for this.
as I said, this is from Cozy Corners. Um, you can see it's two chairs. It's a, 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 a sofa, it looks like, or a love seat. This has adult animations in it. Um, and it comes with everything you see here. It's, again, very festive. Uh, and um, uh, the picture showed it for outdoors, but I think this could, obviously, it could work uh, outdoors. It could also work, I don't know, it won't work, it doesn't work in this build, uh, but I did want to show it to you, which is why I put it in here. Um, it could work in a castle, could work in anything that is looking, that looks slightly, um, gothic i think this is trinity aeronaut this is another um uh video that i'm doing for the sense event um if you've enjoyed this video please uh, like it and um go ahead and subscribe to my channel um and i look forward to speaking to you again